Welcome back to a brand new Funko Pop video here on the channel and today is actually El Paso Comic Con 2022 which is actually interesting. Well it was actually this, this weekend in general like all three days not just one day it was a three day event but we are going on Sunday. Unfortunately I couldn't go any of the other days but we are going Sunday and I have a real big itch to spend some money. So that's our goal here today. We do have some friends that are going to be at the event uh, vending. Uh, Jaren Toys is actually going to be there. Uh, if you guys watch my last El Paso Comic Con video, I actually featured a little bit of their table there and I also purchased a little bit of stuff there too. So I have a feeling I'm going to be doing that again today. Uh, but my budget's a lot better than it was last year, so I am really fiending to spend some good money. If you guys are excited for today's Comic Con video, uh, please drop a like on this video and let's get into it. Comic-Con and guys, I, I I didn't lie. I told you guys I was gonna spend some money or I told you guys I wanted to spend some money and I did. I'm not gonna say how much I actually spent, but just know that I ended up picking up five Funko Pops. So you guys are more than welcome to, of course, comment down below how much you guys think I'll actually spend. Uh, I'm not gonna say it, but if you're kind of close, I'll probably kind of hint at it in the comment section below. Also, another thing that I want you guys to uh, let me know is uh, once we conclude showing you guys all five of these brand new Funko Pops to our collection, which one of these five will be uh, your favorite? So let me know down in the comment section below. But yes, without further ado, let's get started. So we'll start from um, like the cheaper side of things, going into the more expensive Funko Pops, just so you we can like ease into it. Um, but I think you guys are gonna enjoy every single one of the ones that we picked up here today. So let's get into it. So the first Funko Pop that I picked up at Comic Con is probably for my at least it's got to be at least top three favorite Pixar movie. And uh, I think I have something else in it in my collection already. I believe it is the Dante Alebrije from the movie Coco. So as you guys know, I'm getting more Coco things. I never really thought I was going to collect Disney items uh, in the collection, to be honest. Like, I enjoy Disney movies here and there. Encanto's fantastic. Uh, Turning Red was fantastic. Uh, Coco was fantastic. You know what I mean? There's, there's things in there that I enjoyed. I didn't think I was actually going to be enjoying them so much that I'd be collecting Funko Pops from them. And now that I think about it, I've collected Funko Pops from every single one of those. So, yes, regardless, the first thing that we have here is going to be Miguel with Guitar. This is a, I don't even know what it's exclusive to. A 2020 Wondrous Convention Limited Edition. This is the shared sticker. This is from last year's WonderCon. I don't know where it was exclusive to, but part of me wants to say box lunch just because a lot of Disney's uh, products, when there is a con, do go to a box lunch. But look at that. It looks really, really cool. And then on the back, you'll see the main line, which has uh, uh, Miguel, Ernesto, and Hector, which they did my boy Hector bad in the movie. You know, he's only trying to get home to see his kiddo. You know what I mean? Like, it sucks. It's such a heart wrenching story. Uh, I guess in the end of it all, it did have a little bit of a happy ending. I, I guess the best way you can say it, because it did still end with, like, trauma. I, it's really weird to say. But what's really cool, though, is because I am Mexican, I, uh, my mom is from Zacatecas, Mexico. Um, it it kind of like, you know, you know I, I don't really show my heritage too much. Uh, it kind of like, you know, I connect. I meshed really well with this movie. I think this is really cool. If you guys don't know, it's a, it's it's like a Day of the Dead type movie. I highly recommend for you guys to watch it. It is available on Disney Plus. Uh, Disney Plus, not Disney Plus. But yeah, Disney Plus. It should be available. Uh, I highly recommend it for you guys to watch it. And the Funko Pop looks phenomenal. Uh, I, I really did like this. I, I was really happy I got to add this to my collection. 
The next few Funko Pops that we ended up picking up, I actually picked them up because they have movies coming out according to them. So we'll go individual, uh, but uh, it was pretty much on the medium sized price of things. And I figured I might as well get them now just in case if they do go up. And I say just in case because there's always a chance that it does not go up. So the first thing that we have here is going to be classic Thor. This is of, uh, I don't know where it's, this is a 2019 Spring Convention Limited Edition. So, uh, again, shared sticker. I think if any of these are exclusive um, during a con, it'll be a shared sticker more than an actual con sticker. So I want to throw that out there. But yes, this is classic Thor. So this is his classic attire. What's interesting is this Thor actually shows up in the Love and Thunder brand new trailer. Uh, when you see the montage of him running as he grows older, one of the costumes that he is wearing is, of course, this one. This is the comic accurate, the classic Thor. Of course, new Thor has a different suit going on now, but this is a classic one. And on the back, you have, like, the OG line, which, if I'm not mistaken, they're all the older molds. And I don't know if they were trying to remake them into, like, a newer mold style. Uh, I don't know if they ever did. But I was actually very, very ecstatic to add this Thor to my collection. Um... And I figured I'd grab this because unfortunately I can't grab uh, Jane Foster. Even though for the longest time that was a $10 Funko Pop, I never picked her up. I never bit the bullet. Pretty much goes to show that you really don't know what's going to happen with a certain, you know, certain characters. They'll jump up. That jumped up. Moon Knight jumped up. You know what I mean? Like, you really don't know how it's going to end up going that way. So, I'll take the L on that, but I'll take the W on Classic Thor. The next Funko Pop that I'm picking up has a movie coming out soon. I don't know if it got pushed back because it is a D, uh, DC property. And I know they like mix around a few of their different things where they push a few movies back and they push a few movies forward. Uh, but what I'm talking about here is actually going to be Black Adam. This is a glow in the dark Black Adam from Big Apple's Collectibles. I would love to show you guys the glow. However, that, that's not going to happen. I don't have any way to actually show you guys the glow of it, sadly. That's my fault. I haven't actually prepared for glow pops just yet or black light pops or anything like that. But it is a really, really cool looking Funko Pop. This is the only Black Adam that's ever been made. So with that movie coming out, I know there's probably going to be a few more for that movie specifically. But at the time being, this was the only one. And I wanted to grab it before it went up any further. This one, however, I'm pretty sure you can still uh, catch on the website. You know, I just didn't want to wait. I just want to grab it and add it to my collection as soon as possible on the back. You see there is no actual line this is associated with. Just says Black Adam. This is really cool. And if you guys don't know... This is actually played by Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Don't get me wrong, I don't think I'll ever get it signed by The Rock. I don't know if he does appearances at Comic Cons or anything like that. Plus, I'm in El Paso, Texas. There's no shot he's making his way down this way. So, I figured I might as well just get it for the collection. If some miracle ever happens and I have that opportunity to do so, then yeah, that'll, that'll make things a lot better. But uh, yeah, until now, um, it's always been on my radar and I'm actually glad I got it on my collection. Hold on, hold on. Before we continue with today's video, I want to go ahead and throw it out there that more than 70% of you guys who actually watch the YouTube videos that I produce aren't actually subscribed to the channel. So if you guys can do something for me real quick, please click that subscribe button. It is absolutely free. It helps the content that I produce. It helps me pretty much keep going and pretty much puts a smile on my face. Like, who wouldn't want that? Who really? It really, you know, yeah, regardless. Let's continue with today's video. Okay, so the next two Funko Pops that I have are actually going to be the big hitters. These are the ones that cost me a little bit more of a pretty penny. But I needed to add these to my collection. You don't really see them too often, especially in my city. And I figured I might as well grab them. Realistically, I don't know how much I actually spent for each individual Funko Pop. I know the total amount, and I'm just like, whatever. Let's make it happen. Plus, Jaren Toys actually supports the channel. Um, and I figured, why not? They're cool people. I'll try to have them linked down in the uh, description below. Apparently, all they do is Facebook. But apparently, they can make something happen with Facebook. I don't know. But you show support with some support. They show up uh, in a lot of, like, Southwest type uh, uh, conventions like Albuquerque and, like, El Paso and Las Cruces and things like that. So, show them some love. I'll have them linked down in the description below. Or they might even pop up on the screen. So, just show them some love. But, yes, we got two more Funko Pops to go with. Uh, this is going to be the second to most expensive, from my knowledge. Uh, and this is something that I've been wanting to add for the longest time. I believe my boy, uh, Josh, I'm gonna give him a quick shout out real quick. Uh, he's actually the manager at one of the game stores. Uh, he's actually the manager of Game Ball, which we've been there before. We need to go back. Uh, and he was showing me some hero clicks one time and one of them was this Funko, or was this character. Uh, and I really wanted the Funko Pop. I've been wanting it long before he showed me that, but it just like, it, it, the connection was made there. And I'm talking about, Venomized Magneto. So this is and now what's cool is I'm familiar with this sticker. 
This is the 2020 Fall Convention sticker. So basically, it was exclusive to uh, New York Comic Con 2020. Of course, this is a shared sticker. And it was probably like a Hot Topic release or something like that. I can see that being the thing. Uh, but this was something that I really wanted to add to the collection. And I know it's a little expensive, sure. But, uh, you know, I you know I need to start adding some more expensive things into the collection. Because a lot of the times, uh, some of these Funko Pops there on the back, you see all the, the ones in the normal wave. Uh, a lot of the times, I just grab comments and just make a showcase video on them. And then every now and then, I'll pick up something pretty good. But uh, I figured Comic-Con only comes around once a year. You know, we might do a few more cons the rest of the year. So I want to pick up some good stuff. So, yes, we have Venomized Magneto. We finally got to add it to the collection. Now, I think I have some of the more expensive Venomized line Funko Pops. I'm trying to think, because it's like this one's expensive. Uh, I believe Green Goblin's kind of expensive as well. Um, well, yeah, kind of, kind of. But I'm trying to think what else is out there. I think the rest of them should be relatively easy to get, so I'm okay with that. Uh, but yeah, I really want to add this to my collection. I've been eyeing it for a very long time. I think i actually been eyeing it since I started my Funko Pop collection, which is just about a year old, so it's kind of insane. I'm actually happy I got this, though. The final Funko Pop that we added in our collection this past weekend was uh, something that I'm actually very excited to show you guys. I've been kind of casually getting all the Funko Pops for the past eight months, give or take. Um, and I'll, I'll kind of reveal it as we go. But uh, when I went to my vacation in Denver last year, I ended up picking up two Funko Pops, which was uh, Blacklight Mad Hatter and Blacklight Queen of Hearts. For Christmas this past year, Jasmine actually picked me up Alice. Uh, which is the Blacklight Alice. So it means that I have two more Blacklight Funko Pops to grab. That being Cheshire Cat and the White Rabbit. So we ended up picking up White Rabbit, the Blacklight Alice and Funko Pop uh, pop that I wanted to add. Uh, just because I wanted to complete this set. I want to get to it. You know, I've, I've talked about it plenty of times in videos where I keep trying to complete sets, but I keep failing, not finding the ones that I'm looking for, or kind of refusing to spend the money on things. But now I knew Comic Con was the one that I wanted to spend money on. If they did have Shishire Cat, uh, I probably would have gotten both Shishire and this one to complete the set. I, that that would have been my goal. But we have White Rabbit. This was exclusive to FunCon last year. If I'm not mistaken, there on the back, you see all the, the entire line. If I'm not mistaken, this is exclusive to the Funko Shop. So that that's very interesting because I believe the entire line was exclusive to the Funko Shop. Uh, this one just being a con release, so it was kind of like a shared thing going on. Um, and this was definitely the most expensive one that I picked up. I know that for sure. And I was actually really, really excited to have this. That just means that I'm one Funko Pop away from completing that line and I can have it showcased somewhere. I still need to like kind of fix like what I got going on over here with my with my shelves and things like that. I'll get it done in due time. Uh, really, I really will. It's just... Uh, it's a little bit of a hassle. I won't lie. It's a little bit of a hassle. I want to make sure that the uh, everything looks really well and organized and things like that. But yes, um, I'm really excited. I'm really, really happy. I won't lie though. I kind of have to find where I have the rest of them because they're kind of hidden somewhere back there. Uh, so I do have to find them and put them all together. I, I really do have to organize everything. Like if you guys see this whole mountain of Funko Pops, I have to organize everything put them onto my shelves i need to get new shelves apparently the shelves that i've been using are discontinued so i gotta find something new i'm just like ah it's a it's a hassle but we're making it happen though i'm really really excited with this and i'm glad that i got to add this to my collection but guys that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys did enjoy consider dropping a like on this video subscribing to the channel if you haven't already turn on the notifications so you guys never miss a video uh, a video of course if you guys want to support the channel any further Please consider becoming a Twitch subscriber, YouTube member, or a Patreon supporter. Links to all that good stuff will be in the description down below. Uh, guys, if you guys want to follow me on social media, I highly recommend it. Especially my Instagram. I do have Funko Pop giveaways going on there. And I want to get some Funko Pops giving away, like, going like constantly so you guys have chances at winning things. So please hit me up over there. We do have two actively going on right now. We have a Mew at 500 followers and a fat gum at a thousand followers so please help me out reach my goal i try to pretty much show all the updates when things get released or announced and something like that put them on my uh, instagram story so consider you know checking that out so you guys don't miss out but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video if you guys want to support in the freest way possible just make sure to like comment and subscribe i'll see you guys later peace